Hey y'all, welcome back to Poplar Creek Farm. I'm gonna make this outside part kinda quick because it is raining. Um, but I wanted to let everybody know we are getting our solar panels today. Um, we are getting them installed this week at least. They're started, they started today. Um, so here's our actual panels, I'm so excited. Going up on our roof, they couldn't finish today or couldn't even get the panels up today because, well, it was snowing um, quite a bit and blowing and I was shocked that they even showed up but they're amazing um, they're getting going with that and I'm gonna go over a few of our other projects that we're gonna be getting going for spring uh, but I really wanted to show that because I'm super excited this is just one more step for us to be self-sustaining and self-sufficient um, we're gonna be power sufficient self-sufficient somewhat um, we're only going about 80% offset right now just because of cost but we will eventually add more panels so that we can be 100% self-sufficient there's my doggy Sadie girl Sadie what is that? <laughs> All right, guys, welcome inside out of the rain. Um, we're going to be going over our list of spring projects, and my husband's got the list of all of our many, many, many projects. Um, over the next week or two, we're going to start looking at tractors. Um, it's one of those things that's just it's going to make jobs easier on the homestead, and so that's you, yep. <laughs> tractor. Yeah, we've realized over the last several years that Sometimes getting a machine will save on our body, save on time, and ultimately be worth it. Um, so we definitely think a tractor is going to be a good investment. Yeah. Um, like she said, we have tons of outdoor projects coming up. Um, and then, not even this spring, but from now on in the future, um, all these projects and stuff around the homestead that a tractor will help with and save our body, save time. So. Yep. Other projects we're gonna get going, um, one of the, my most near and dear ones, is getting the garden going. Um, so we have to get fencing up for that. We have lots of wildlife around here, lots of deer that will eat everything in my garden. Um, turkey, will turkey bear. go in the garden? Oh yeah, turkey will go in. Bear, coyotes, rabbits, got a lot of rabbits. Yeah, so we just wanna get fencing up that's going to keep as much of that stuff out not that I don't love wildlife, I just don't want them eating the food that's meant for us um, and that's meant for preserving for our winter um, to get us through. So, Beef, fencing. Yeah, fencing's big, um, but I think our first project is we had to have a ton of stone delivered. Um, like Kirsten said, we had a modular set and in order for the crane to set the modular, they needed a huge, huge pad, pad of stone. Um, so we need to move all the stone, move tons of topsoil back. Yeah, we have um, huge piles, uh, two huge piles. One is, I mean, probably what, 12 feet tall? Yeah, at least. at least 12 feet tall. The other one is more just wide um, that we have to get back on our soil. We have clay soil, and the topsoil will at least hold that in place a little bit more yeah. and then get grass seed down. Then get the garden tilled in, fenced up. Yep. And then after that, um, we're obviously getting our chicks next month, so we'll need our chicken coop. Um, we don't have that set up at all, so that's next after that. And then getting my apiary set up is, is probably the next big project. Yeah. Um, apiary is not a huge thing to set up. It's more of we just need, because again, we have bears. Um, bears don't go after the honey itself. Uh, it's just a treat on top of what they get out of the hive. Um, they like the brood, which is all the babies. Um, and so they will attack the hive regardless. And so we have to get electric fence up for that. Um, bees are way too expensive of an investment to not fence them and not protect them from wildlife. Um, we also, we do have a lot of wind here, so we're probably gonna have to build some kind of windbreak for yeah. them. Um, may just this year be hay bales whatever yeah, we can build on get. top every year yeah whatever we can get to work for this year um just to get us through because we do have a lot of projects orchard yeah. would be next uh getting apple trees in and peach trees we are very fortunate our awesome realtor um joe chalali from coldwell banker is going to provide us some peach trees he has his own orchard um grew up on an orchard with peach trees and so he's going to teach us how to prune them um, and ma manage them so that we have the best possible harvest because I didn't even know peach trees grew in this area. <laughs> I only knew of apple trees. Um, so I'm really excited to get those going. So we'll do apple trees, peach trees this year and add to it in yep. the future. 
I think that's most of the spring projects, yeah. right? We've got the chickens, the bees, um, here shortly, probably in a couple of days, actually, we're going to make a video of our first time tapping maple trees. Yes. Um, Kirsten got here. me a maple kit for Valentine's Day, so we'll go out and it was tap really some, for me. <laughs> yeah, tap some maple trees. Um, try to get the kids involved in that also. Yeah. And so there'll be a video on that coming shortly. Yeah, because we've never done that. We've never tapped maple trees. Um, I could drink maple syrup. I love maple syrup, so I'm really excited to have that and make maple syrup candy, and yeah, and good stuff. Got a lot of projects coming, um, so please follow, like, subscribe, um, share our videos because we are going to have a lot of things coming this spring and in the next few weeks. Thanks. Thank you, guys.